Hi everyone! Today I'm going to create my very own reverse coloring book pages. That's right, I'm going to make them, and you can too! In my previous video, I tested this giant jelly gouache paint set. So with these and my paintbrushes from the Artistic Bear Co, aka Chloe's paintbrush brand, Chloe Rose Art here on YouTube, which by the way, she also created a reverse coloring book page or pages. And so did Jazza and so did a lot of other artists. And since I have an entire series on the reverse coloring books by Kendra Norton, I thought that creating my own pages would be a really fun thing to do and try. Do and try, yes. We do, we try, we test, we... I'm going to be taking the jelly gouache, which is kind of a mix between watercolor paint and acrylic, and I'm going to create abstract designs on some paper. So it will be similar to some of the pages in these books. Even though it's not technically coloring, yes, we all know reverse coloring is basically ink blots. It's just a fun name for it. It makes everyone kind of wonder like, ooh, what's reverse coloring? And then you know, it's a thing now, so I'm very happy. I think it's more relaxing than actual coloring inside the lines. Without further ado, let's go ahead and create reverse coloring pages. Wait, I almost forgot. But a little reverse. Oh no. Okay. After spending the past week testing the jelly gouache set and creating a beautiful self-portrait, I am now ready to create the reverse coloring pages, as I mentioned. I think it would be fun to try this on a few different colors of paper, so I am going to be using cardstock instead of watercolor paper, but I think this will be okay and it's just for fun anyway. This way we get to see how jelly gouache shows up on dark colors, also the traditional white, and these I'll be recycling because they are a little beat up. I used them in a previous project or maybe a couple. I haven't added anything else to the self-portrait by the way. As for the gouache set, I've had this sitting for two days. Some people were mentioning mold. I hope that is not happening right now. We don't want any mold spores brewing in there. Here's the moment of truth. Okay, wait. Oh, I thought I saw mold. It's just a, a little bubble. It looks good. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Is that a dark spot? What is that? What, what? Okay, wait, that right there. I don't know what that is. Hopefully it was just a crusty. Let's start with the big fluffy brush. This is so soft and I apologize. My nails are atrocious right now but I'm probably gonna get paint on them, so I'll probably paint them later, or who am I kidding, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> but that's not the point of this video. I'm gonna do the hot pink. Just go for it. Oh, I forgot it's sticky. I think I need a lot more water. Definitely need some more colors. Mac and cheese. is to get some layers going. And okay, I'm gonna stop there. I could keep going and going. It's really relaxing actually. Here's what it looks like. As I guessed, the page did warp, so it's kind of bendy, but it's not a big issue. After it dries, maybe I can put something heavy on it to flatten it out a little bit, but I can still work with it either way. We'll do the gray one. I don't know what color scheme I want to do. Maybe some pastels, but let's try to do a different approach with this one. Just a dot. Wow, beautiful. Maybe more swirly? That could be cool. Squiggly, swirly, squ Oop. <laughs> I just got it on my desk. Wait, there's not really a pastel blue. This is the lightest blue there is. I mean, I could mix one, but no thanks. Go in with a different brush and do some white to blend the blue and make it lighter. Ooh, cool. setting up to work on the third coloring page. I switched to this Nerdy Crafter paintbrush because the bristles are slightly more firm and I think that'll make it easier to flick the paint. Flick it all over. Splatter splatter. I 
I highly recommend using this method to create abstract shapes. It's so much fun despite being kind of messy, but you know, fun trumps mess, usually. <laughs> usually? In what cases wouldn't it? I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna go a little bit more quickly through the rest of these because I kind of sort of uh, absolutely did end up creating 10 pages total and I'm still gonna be adding lines after so there's a lot more content to be seen. Once I got to number eight, I tried the wet on wet method for more of a watercolory feel. So basically I brushed water all around the paper before applying multiple layers of watered down gouache paint. And at the end, I did add some opaque splotches, which built up more dimension and variation in the artwork. And here's the last one. Yes. Let's see what all 10 turned out like after they dried. have gotten a little bit carried away and ended up with 10 of them. <laughs> As expected, they are very, very bendy and not all of them are created equally. I'm looking at you, flying angel pig thing, Cupid. I don't know. And I swear I didn't plan this. You know what it looks like? I just thought of this and maybe the purple is influencing me. It looks like Grimace. Do you remember Grimace from McDonald's? Grimace will be my warm up. Then we'll get into these. I don't think I'm gonna do all 10 in this video. Before I begin, let me know which one is your favorite as is. And then at the end, tell me if your favorite changes, if I transform it or if I mess it up. Also, the artistic bear coat brushes held up really well. I was going kind of rough with them and I thought maybe they would get misshapen after, but no, they look as fresh as they did when I opened them. So I am very impressed super durable and beautiful. Not sponsored by the way, I'm just trying to support my friend Chloe. So if you're interested in these brushes, check out her website, I will link it below. Also some shameless self promo, I will link the jelly gouache paint set below. It includes my Amazon affiliate links. So if you purchase anything, it'll help me out a little bit and I'll be able to buy more art supplies and continue making fun videos. Okay, now let's do this. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for you to turn into Grimace. Are those grapes or hearts? I don't know. Chicken nuggies. I wasn't kidding. Here's Grimace, the magic chicken nugget fairy. I guess at second glance, they also could be potatoes. Both really tasty foods, whichever you want. That's wonderful. Now that I have that out of my system, I'll try to be a little bit more serious, maybe, on these. For this very chaotic, colorful page, I am first going in with an Artistro brush paint pen because I was immediately drawn to the purple shape. Maybe not for what it looks like at first glance, because it's a mouse, okay? A mouse, a cute little mouse, see, has a nose. This is Millie, and Millie is a field mouse who lives in the brush and the flowers. And Millie is poking her little head out because she sees this. It's a stinky piece of cheese with holes in it. I thought if it didn't have holes, then it wouldn't look like cheese. Now I'm doing a really simple one and just using a thick Posca paint pen. This obviously could look like mountains, but I wanted to turn them into ghosts. So they are just ghosts 
uh, singing or screaming because I guess they're screaming because there's a lot of unknown spirit blobs around them that have no faces and they're like, what the heck? I don't know, that's all I got. Here they are. Now I'm doing something a little bit more intricate and I could not be more excited about seeing what I saw in this page. As I was painting this, I saw kind of like an evil face in the white blob, this like big white blob that I started off on. I ended up turning it into some sort of phantom ghost. Then his little crony over there is more of a gargoyle demon type? Maybe not demon, we don't want to go that dark. They're actually not as bad as they seem. They're just playing a game with fish. It's almost like a Pokemon battle, I guess, where they have opposing fish who are either trying to eat fish for points, or if we go the really nice route, they're just trying to collect fish to be on their fish buddy team. Next, I'm doing the black paper, and I'm using a white jelly roll gel pen for this. I didn't show too much of this process because I did a really quick time lapse on my camera, but it is a running peacock, and I thought that this was perfect to show the motion, like just all the different colors jumbled and how bright it is, had to be a peacock. And I know I painted 10 backgrounds, but this sixth one that I am outlining is going to be the final one of this video. So if you want to see me do more in another video, let me know. I didn't do any of the wet on wet ones, which ironically were the three that I did at the very end, plus there was another colorful one. Anyway, you can see that I outlined this one with a Posca pen and, well, a couple different Posca pens for line thickness variation. And I don't know if you can tell what this is, but if you can't, it is a ram who is sticking out its tongue, has three legs, you can't see the fourth. I don't know, I just thought this was so much fun. I don't know if I can even choose which one is my favorite. I like them all for very different reasons. If you have a favorite or favorites, comment down below and let me know. If you have not yet seen my reverse coloring book series video, I'm going to link them in the description box below as well as the iCard up in the corner. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back very soon with another video, bye.